What's up everybody, Brick Sanchez here and today I will be reviewing this very awesome light kit from a game of bricks here for the police station modular as you can see. Uh, now most of you probably know that I've been using light tailing for the most part in my city. Now I've got uh, this game of bricks uh, brand has also caught my attention for some time now, uh, especially with their uh, sound kits. So yeah, first off we got this box here, a very cool looking box. Uh, so it opens up like this, kind of like an iPhone box or something. And then it's filled with a bunch of these little uh, plastic uh, bags which feature all of the cords and stuff and all of the light bricks and all of that stuff. Then we got a, a general user manual in here. Uh, now the assembly manual itself is available on, the we on their website, uh, which I use an, an iPad or you can put on, on your laptop or your phone um, to assemble it. But um, that is something that light tailing has, which I really appreciate. But yeah, if it can bring down the cost a bit, if you just have to search it on your laptop or something, it's not that much of a big deal. So yeah. But all right, now I will be showing you the kit itself. Now this is very awesome. It, it is plugged in right now and I have turned it off. So now with the remote, I can just turn it on like this. Which is very, very awesome. I will be showing you all of this in the dark as well. Uh, and now, as you can see, I will show you some features on this remote here. So the first feature we have is this, uh, these one and two are like flash. Uh, so this, the first thing you can do is like this. Then it starts lighting up every floor individually, every uh, feature individually like that. So that's very cool. It uh, keeps on a loop like that. And then you also have number two in here, which kind of makes, for some reason, it makes like this green one, that little, uh, that little, uh, stand there new stand and this uh, lamppost here makes it like flicker a bit so it's a bit weird and now we have the third button in here which is just a static button so um, it makes everything just like those things are supposed to flicker there's also something on the top which i will be showing you now uh, that can flicker as well but something very cool is uh, what i like you can also adjust the brightness as you can see so yeah now i can make it a bit brighter i always like to have it as bright as possible um, but yeah, and then if you have like, um, oh yeah, and with this flash, you can also like adjust the speed. You can make it go faster. Let me see. As you can see, you can make it go a bit faster or slower. But yeah, I will be uh, mostly using the regular static feature. All right, so right here you can see that flickering uh, little red light there on the roof, which is very awesome. Now I've put Batman on there. Still need a, a Bat logo on there as well. That would be awesome. Uh, and then you can see that other light is just like a sideway light here pretty special but uh, yeah i like it a lot all right so now i'll turn this model around uh, by the way if you're interested in this kit or any other kit of game of bricks be sure to check out the link in my description uh, it will bring you to their website and there you can check out all of the awesome kits that they have um, so a lot of other ones also have sound which is very very awesome which i'm i'm very keen to try out now i had the diagon alley one uh, but, but because it's not fully complete yet uh, I didn't want to make a review of it yet, but I will do that in the future once I receive the extra parts that I needed. Um, but either way, be sure to check that out. Now let's check out this backside here. All right, and for the backside, now right here we don't have too many lighting elements. We have this little lamp out here next to the door, as well as uh, another one down here. Uh, just a little spot here, and then for the rest we can just see the backsides of the interior. All right, so now I will just show you what this looks like in the dark, and then afterwards we will install it in uh, my LEGO City. See what that looks like amongst the rest of the lit up modulars and stuff. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so for the moment it is almost completely dark here in the man cave, except for that Brick Sanchez logo uh, moon in the background there. So yeah, let me just turn this one on here. All right, so as you can see, it's pretty bright, it's lighting up uh, a big portion of the table in here and stuff. So yeah, very cool. Now let me just turn this around one second. Uh, by the way, this one, this lamp is uh, hanging loosely in here because as you can see, we got two open spaces here. This is where I connect all of my uh, uh, lamp posts. They're always in a cross section of two, uh, or yeah, in a cross section of like uh, four, uh, like two roads and then two regular base plates. Uh, so that's where I put my uh, lamp posts. Now this normally in the regular set is like out here. But yeah, I kept it like this and this will all be hidden underneath there. So yeah, I'm sorry for the mess for now. Um, but either way, let me just turn this around. As you can see, pretty cool. We have our lit up uh, sign here. We also have four more of these lights, which is pretty cool. Actually, it's not really that necessary, but it makes it uh, feel a bit more alive. So yeah, now let's turn this around here. Let's check out the back. Now we have the cable down here. I'm sorry for that. So yeah, like this, it also, it's also pretty cool. Now you can see this spot here. So uh, yeah, very awesome. I really like to see, this is what we're gonna see uh, from the beach area. Now you can also spot a few of those cracks in here, but yeah, I don't really mind that that much. Uh, and then you can see the roof is lit up pretty nicely. So that's pretty awesome for like a roof party or something. Um, but yeah, I like that. So yeah, 
Now I'm going to show you the uh, individual features that we have on here, on this remote here. All right, so for the features down here, we have the same ones that I showed you before. So now I'm going to turn everything on individually, which is very awesome in the dark, especially because you can see everything gradually lighting up like that. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Now it goes on a loop like this constantly, which is pretty okay, but it's not that necessary. Now I'm going to check out number two. Number two just makes those <laughs> like kind of flicker. Um, but yeah, now for the rest, we also have uh, individual buttons here, uh, numbered or labeled one till eight. Now this is also depending on the kit you have, but if you have the remote uh, version, you will obviously have all of the lights. So yeah, but I want to show you guys what this looks like, uh, like the regular version and then the standard version. Uh, but yeah, so this is what the regular version looks like. That is from uh, numbers one till five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, if you, uh, you don't really need the extra lights if you don't really like those green lights or that roof rooftop those rooftop lights then you can just uh, buy the regular kit which is very awesome as well you just plug it in and then it just lights up which is very awesome These, it is actually what most of my sets are just ones that you uh, plug in like that uh, but i really do like this remote now now i'm kind of hooked on it so <laughs> i might buy some more with the remotes either way guys that, those were all the controls on the remote here so uh let's install this bad boy in the city right now all right guys so now we're in the city as you can see it's a big mess here um, i'm gonna start soon with the uh, remodeling of the beach boulevard so i'm gonna drop some videos on that now you can see all of the other light kits here we got the other modulars uh, lit in here and then out there you can see the latest addition which is the police station modular so yeah i'm gonna take a better look at it from the standing hole there all right now you can see from this side uh, we can see that red blinking light there uh, also the back side of the building some of those windows in there also that little uh, light on the uh, on the rooftop there then we get inside of this alleyway you can also see the platform light there it gives a bit of light as well as that uh, lamp next to the door so yeah very cool all right and then from this standing hole uh, point of view here you can see very nicely this uh, advertising board is uh, being lit up then we got this little alleyway in between the two buildings it's lit as well now so very cool and now, of course, I will also have to give a demonstration of this uh, remote control here. I'm just going to go for this um, flash thing in here again. I really like that view. So you can just see it all light up like that, which is very awesome, I think. Um, I've used a lot of light tailing kits as well, but I'm really starting to love these uh, Game of brick Bricks ones. Now I um, can't wait till I get a kit with some light, uh, with some sound features as well. Now uh, I have the Diagon Alley, which is also from a... Uh, uh, game of bricks actually but i'm still missing a few parts so i want to make a video when that's completely finished so yeah uh, either way thanks a lot guys and i will see you guys in the next video